Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use a new Casio 570EX calculator to do the dot product of two vectors. Okay, let's say today I have the vector A, which is 1, 2, 3, vector B, which is 4, 5, 6. Okay, this one we call it three-dimension vector. Yeah, if you learn about three-dimension uh, in STPM or L level, you should know you should have something like um, uh, the vectors, the axis like X, Y and Z. All right, and then the vector can actually go into like Cartesian plan like I, and then this one it will can be Z, and then this one it can be K. Okay, so you just imagine this one is basically for X exit, Y exit, Z exit, or in Cartesian plan we actually call it I, Z, and K. All right, this one are just about three dimension, but in this video, I'm not, I will not cover so much about the three dimensions. Okay, over here, I'm going to teach you about dot product. Okay, dot product, normally this is how we will write. We will write A dot B. But you see the reference book, normally they will use a small capitals to represent it. So they will use a small letter A here. And then this one, they will use about small letter B. This is what happens in the reference book. So it's the same idea. They will just do something like A dot B. Okay, I just want to tell you dot product is not the same with cross product because some students will think like dot basically mean multiply, right? They will think it's the same idea with A multiply B. Okay, they are not the same in the vector topic. Of course, they are the same in the algebra, but they're not the same in the vector topic because this one we call cross product, which I will cover in the next video, not here. This one we call dot product. So this is the reason why you will see a dot product uh, in this topic because it's a dot here. Okay, so over here, I will cover about dot product. If you see a dot b, what you need to do is you insert the vector a, which is one, two, three, dot vector b, which is four, five, six. Okay, how are we going to multiply them? Basically, it's like this. So one multiply four, so you get one uh, multiply four plus two multiply five plus three multiply six. You see carefully, you should be able to see like I actually multiply like this, isn't it? And then plus all of them together, that's all. Even you have a negative number, you would just do the same here. So then what will you get here? One times four is four, two times five is 10, three times six is 80. So you should get about 32. Okay, if I want to do the dot product in the new Casio calculator, this is what I will do. I will go into the menu and look for number five, which is vector here, number five. And then I want to define my uh, vector, which is number one. This one is called three dimension, isn't it? Then you tap three. All right, then just insert one, two, three. And then you want to define another vector, B. So you go to the option, define my vector, which is number one vector b number two and then three dimension all right then you go four five and six all right then i want to go to option for vector calculation which is number three all right then i want to ask my calculator to do this i go to option i say it's vector a which is number three okay you cannot type multiplier huh? like i say is they are not the same then you go to the option Okay, you need to come down to the next menu to look for dot product, which is number two. Okay, then I go to option, which is vector B, number four. I tap enter, the calculator should do for me, which is 32. All right, it seems like quite easy here, but then what's the purpose of doing the dot product? Okay, because when you go to the three dimension world, right, if you want to find the angle between like, two vector a, vector a and vector b if you want to find the angle between them right actually they have a formula for it which is they will use the cost rule here they call cost theta will equals to a vector a dot vector b over length of a multiply length of b okay this is the formula of it so if just now i have the vector a is one two three like and vector b is four, five, six. Okay, if I want to find the length of A, it's basically, we will do the square root of one square plus two square plus three square. Yeah, this is like Pythagoras, but just in a three dimension way. All right, so then it's basically square root of one plus four plus nine, which is square root of 
14. We still remember what is a dot b, right? We just found it just now, uh, which is 32. Okay, then if I want to do about magnitude of b, I will do the same thing like Pythagoras, which is 4 square plus 5 square plus 6 square. This one will actually give you the square root of 77. So if you want to find the magnitudes in this calculator, let's say I want to find the magnitudes of A or magnitude of B straight away from this calculator, right? And what we can do here is, if you go into the option, you come down, you don't see anything say about magnitude or modulus. So what you can do here is, you need to go into the absolute value. Do you see the ABS here? You just tap shift ABS and then you option your vector a then you cross the bracket you should be able to get it but then this calculator will only live in a decimal form yeah which is exactly same with a square root 14 which is 3.7417 okay same idea if i want to go into the uh, uh magnitudes of the vector b i go to option for vector b and then i should be able to get about uh, that's decimal for square root 77, which is 8.775. Okay, okay, then now if I want to find the angle between them, I will just substitute everything into the calculator, uh, which is cos theta will equal to 32, which is a dot b over square root 14 multiply square root 77. Okay, so over here, if you want to find the theta, depend you want to in degree or radian, it doesn't matter. So if you want a degree, you just go into the shift menu, the angle unit, change it back to the degree number one. So if I want to find the angle straight away in my vector menu, I can actually do that. So this is how I will type normally. So I will just type 32 over, and then I want to do something like a bracket about square root 14 multiply, uh, square root 77 I will close bracket for twice and then I tap enter and then I just do shift cost my answer and the calculator should be able to tell me the answer so, which is my theta my angle is 12.93 degree but if I want to ask this calculator to do for me what I can do is I just go into the option and then I go for the angle angle number three and then over here I just want to tell the calculator i want the angle between the vector a and vector b okay this is what i will do option number three for vector a and then i will go for comma shift comma here and then option vector b all right and then i close the bracket and then i will get the angle between which is exactly the same 12.9331549 all right i hope you find this video helpful to you if you are interested to get this calculator I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store. And then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here. You just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and you click on it and you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye